hello and welcome once again today i want to show you how you can make a very simple animation of process bar a process bar is normally used to show how a process is going on on computer in a visual way like in this uh, graphic here uh, this bar the red one is what we call the process bar this is the the bar which normally moves when a process is going on and it will move from left to right just like this and when it reaches the end then it means the process will have ended and uh, a user will be notified maybe by a dialog box message that the process has been completed so in this example i'm going to use javascript uh, programming to move this bar from left to right to denote the movement of a process on a computer i will do it very easily and very quickly for you let's do it right now on the desktop here you can see i have an empty folder with uh, only one file inside and this is what we call a javascript library which is going to assist me in the animation process i will go ahead and start notepad the first thing to do is to design the interface using html code i will open the starting html tag and close it somewhere here Then I will go ahead and split this page into two, the body section and the head section. It is very important to do that. I will then move inside the head so that I can insert the title for the page let me just call it animation then uh, inside the body what i will do i will put a title here or heading and give it a level two heading and i can write in that heading something related to what we are doing so let me just call it process bar animation i want this heading to be blue in color so i will open the the h2 tag starting h2 tag and style it with the css code like that and I'll just say here, color blue. That one will paint it blue. And below the heading, I'm going to create a division tag or div. And this one will be the rectangle, which will be moving to, to show the process. And this rectangle, I will style it. I will give it a color. Let me make it red. The starting width it will be zero because the process has not started, and it will have a height of six hundred px. And its position will be relative. When position is set to relative, that is when there will be movement across the screen. But if the position is normal, it cannot be animated. So after doing this CSS part, I will move on and create an empty space between my div sorry height my height is going to be 15 here 
let me correct it that is 15 height and I'm creating an, an empty space here and below the empty space now I can have my button for starting animation and I'm going to write a label on top of the button let me just write start process that is okay then under type uh, of course it is a button type is a button so this is a, a very good uh, beginning I've written the HTML part and the CSS let us save this page and see how it looks before we start the animation process to save it I will click file save uh, coming to my desktop I will open my folder and let me give it the name process.html and I will save it now if I open this uh, folder you can see I have my web page together with my jQuery library I'm going ahead now to open this page for you to see how it looks as you can see now I have my heading here then I have a button I have the title for the page so I'm going to add a paragraph below this uh, uh, process process by animation title and after that I will go ahead and do animation so that the red bar will be seen moving from left to right after clicking this button now back to my code I'm going to add a paragraph to be below this h2 tag so that we tell the user what to expect click the button to start the process and see process bar so that is what we are going to tell the user and I will close the paragraph tag so the next thing I'm going to do is to connect my jQuery library here using this line I will just write your script and close it to the script tag just like that inside the opening script tag I write your source then in quotes my jQuery file is just simple it is called jQuery.js just like that and uh, I'm going down here between closing body tag and closing HTML tag I'm going to write my code going to write the query code now so that we are able to animate the bar to move I will go ahead here and start my jQuery code uh, just start with the dollar sign and close it like that inside I will start my first function then inside the curly bracket I will start another part of the code this time I am going to refer to the name of this button so I will just write here button then after that dot clicked dot click then put two brackets and close inside this bracket I will start another function now just like this
Now inside the click function, I will finally, with the dollar sign, I want to refer to my div. This is my div. I want to refer to it here. And I'm going to borrow animate function from jQuery library. This part is defined inside the library. I'm just calling it so that I'm able to use it. Then here I will uh, put curly brackets, comma, and put a speed of 5,000 milliseconds, or this is equivalent to five seconds. So my process will take five seconds to finish. And inside here, I'm going to write here width. Then in ports, 600 px. What does that mean? At the beginning, the width is 0 px. And I want it to move from 0 to a width of 600 px within 5 seconds. And that is what I have defined there. I'm going to save this. I will go ahead and correct uh, an error which I made earlier. This one is uh, background. Background. Now it is fine. That is the background of our division tag, or the bar should be red. I will go ahead and save the changes. And now I can refresh this web page for you to see how the process is working. After refreshing the page, you can now see uh, the bar is not visible. And here it says click the button to start the process and see process bar. So I'm going ahead and click this. Now you can see the process is now running. That is what we call animation. I will refresh the page, then click again. You can see the process is now running. And that is what we call animation of process bar using jQuery code. Thank you for participating in this short lesson. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.